this is Palico Padger and welcome back to more of RimWorld. And we are recovering from our first big test. And uh, we did pretty well. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Getting very emotional. Victor's hurt, you see. He's not doing good at all. Oh, that's a good point. I haven't actually made these into medical beds. That would make a lot of sense. So let's do that. And Red, can you uh, not strip him? Uh, Victor... You need to go into there, sir. He's incapacitated. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's poor mood. Well, we have just been attacked. Makes sense. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people are ill. Red, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hang on. There's just too much going on right now. Uh, you're watching for target. Oh, it's kind of still got you drafted. Can you. No, you can't. Is everyone else undrafted? You can go as well. Right, so they're busy doing their thing. That's good. Uh, now, what did these people drop? So we've got a simple meal. Mine. Survival rifle. Mine. I think those are victors anyway. They don't They don't really count. Uh, we have a knife. We have another meal. What else are we missing out on? Ah, you'd be dead. So you can be stripped. We'll have your survival meal. Bit of silver. Very nice. A pistol. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, you need to be... Yeah. You're open for burial. That's good. Uh, how is the burial plot looking? It's uh, it's only got one person in at the moment. Everyone else is empty. Splendid. Red's busy. Who's, who's not happy? Who's not happy? Kelvin. What's up, friend? You are wounded, yes, yes, you lacking a bionic part. Well, I can't quite help you with that at the moment, slept in the heat. Is it warm? Wow, it's 50 degrees. Didn't even notice that. Uh, so he's very hot. He's naked, supposedly. You, you're not naked. You've got a t-shirt on. You, you're not te technically naked. Oh, and uh, has that door disappeared or is that permanently open? Wow, it's really warm inside. Uh, we need to fix that. What's going on with our power? Got plenty of power built up. Are they working? Minus nine. Minus eight. Is it just because the door's open? It's not being held open. Is it just because there's something in the way? Okay, let's speed things up a bit. I don't think we're going to be attacked for a while now. And as soon as these guys get better... PG sleeping in there. Keeping Cat happy. Red, what are you doing? Seeking a safe temperature. It's getting cooler. It's getting cooler. It's really warm inside. Everything's going to go rotten. Spoils very soon. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, right, we need everyone to get healthy. So, who is my doctor? Soto. Soto, how injured are you? Well, you're healing yourself at the moment. What injuries do you have? You're slowly healing. Um, I'm re um, do we have a second doctor? Victor, but he is knackered. Uh, Red's okay as a doctor. Uh, we we'll have to bring, we'll have to bring Red in. Red has my only healthy person. You need to treat Soto. Sorry, sorry. That's what, that's, that's what we have to do. The the colony is going to have to be put on hold for the time being. And then we need to get Soto back up. Who's really ill? Haskell. Screw Haskell. Try to attack us. So let's do a simple meal to Haskell. Right, Soto's up. Soto is relatively okay. Oh, you, you, no, you don't need to strip. You need to treat. Treat him. He's my main shooter. What? What gear do these people have? Knife. Who's infected? Victor's got. A, oh God, infection in his stomach. 
Okay. Uh, good result. Good result. We need to get Victor unincapacitated, or capacitated, I guess would be the proper word. And we need to get him into bed. Is there any way of getting him? No. No, there isn't. I, I really wonder if it's because we've got that there. Which is why the door's open. Because it seems very warm. Considering we've got two coolers in there. Heatwave is over. Thank God for that. Kelvin's got... Uh, where are you, Kelvin? Oh, you, no, you're being treated. That's fine. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. dear, dear. Let's... Well, not a boomerlope. Don't... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's let's just pause this for a second. Let's not go too crazy. So, yes, it's a boomerlope. And it's just the one boomerlope. The rest are just aimlessly following him. That's fine. I can deal with that. So, my turret is on the boomerlope. The boomerlope has been shot. Cat, can you shoot? Uh, can Cat, can you shoot? Cat can't shoot. You are useless to me. Soto, you can shoot. And you have a pistol. Red, you can't shoot. So Soto, it's it's all on you, buddy. It's all on you. I, I, yeah, there's not a lot more I can do about that. Eat your food. Oh, no. Kelvin? Oh, okay. F feed Kelvin. The way I see it, that's going to go boom. So there's not a lot I can do about that. There we go. Fire, guys. Fire. Is it in the zone? It's probably not in the zone now. Wow. Nothing's in the zone? Oh, okay. Wow. Wow, that was a bit of an oversight on my behalf. So, uh, yeah. Get on it. Who's starving? Kelvin and Victor. Kelvin's eating. Kelvin's up. So that's good. Victor's being fed. Uh, we'll take that off there. Kelvin, you need to get rid of these bodies, friend. Oh, they're gone. Oh, they've gone. I think. Have they all gone? Kelvin, can you shoot? I keep doing that. I've got to stop doing that. Kelvin, can you shoot? You can shoot. What are you carrying? Oh, you've got a survival rifle already. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, and the door's closed now. Which means it should be... Oh, awesome. So, I mean, those aren't... Excellent. So, whew. Okay. That's our tailor bench. Do we have a zone in here? We have a stockpile zone. And it must be set for tailoring bits because that's in there already. Okay. Okay. And we're going to get some food off that. Oh, Victor's back. Right, Victor, go pick up your survivor rifle before you do anything. Then you can go sleep. So is there anybody in here who can shoot but don't, don't, doesn't have a gun? Let's see. So, knife, can't shoot. Can shoot, got a pistol. Survivor rifle, awesome shot, can't shoot, got a steel knife, uh, what's that, steel shiv, steel knife paw, what's the rating oh, of yours, 96, that's better, Victor we know can shoot, so we'll leave him, um, I'd really like somebody to go and collect that boomerope, Soto, what are you doing? All of your bonus skin. All the uh, boomerlope. That's more important. Don't want that going off. There's a lot of meat on that bad boy. Collecting the food stuffs. And that's all coming over here. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, low food. 24 bars of food. Well, we now have our cook up and running. Kelvin. So he should be cooking. Where is Kelvin? Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, he's not very well still. You Surely you're up to full health by now. 
Oh, you got an infection. 29%. So he should be okay. His, his health's good. And he's getting an immunity to the infection, so he should be okay. Uh, right, I think we probably need to make better defences. So, first things first, let's look at... Oh, power. Do I have everything running around here? Almost. So, we'll just expand upon this first. And I think I'm going to get rid of the two middle ones and maybe put them at, on the corners instead. And I, th I believe the overlay of them all should be enough to cover each other. Let's have a quick look. Uh, e well, they wouldn't cover each other. Well, even so, but they're needed. If I leave, if I leave the ones in the centre, it will, it will cover them, I think. So, and we'll wait for that side to be built up. Then we need to get all this rock hauled, and we really need to get our research on the go. We need to uh, get that stone cutting bench up and start getting rid of some of these. We might be able to start converting these wooden buildings into stone buildings then. Which would make sense. How's that Zero GM coming along? Growth rate is zero. But 63% there. Potatoes almost done too, which is lovely. We're still minus seven on the inside. What the hell's going on there? A bush. Just growing in the freezer. Oh, Kelvin's dead. No, Haskell even. I'll get rid of him. Soto, strip him, please. Soto, I think you're my MVP. Is that right? Yeah, get rid of him. Cool. We're doing okay for wood, aren't we? 501 wood, we have quite a bit of steel now. Quite a bit of steel. Our turrets need to go up. Have we completed the power conduits yet? We do, right, okay. So in which case, let's get our one last turret up there. And we better just cover ourselves and clear some of the cactuses around. Don't want to be giving them any unnecessary cover. Awesome. So who is my researcher? Soto. So if you are not growing or cutting plants, or while well, you're hauling at the moment, it's quite a bit to haul. Let's pop you down to two. We could do view oh we could do view researching. Oh, we're getting the potatoes up. Awesome. So food should be fine now. Food should be fine. Oh, we have some cargo pods. Didn't even notice those. You have detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Perhaps you'll find something useful in the wreckage. Don't know. Let's have a look. Elephant skin. Why not? Why not? Where's my base? There it is. Right, so we've got our defence up. We're going to be cutting down the trees along there, which is good. The rest of this needs to be hauled. If I have taken... So to off priority for hauling, who else can go about not doing stuff? Uh, nothing to mine, then there'll be hauling, uh, plant cutting, mining, hauling. So they should all really be hauling if there's nothing to, because there's nothing to build and definitely nothing to repair at the moment. But they are currently all sleeping. Standing lamp. Power needed. Well, I'll put the power on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I should designate beds. Would that make more sense? So, if I set the owner, I put the inside ones for my shooters. So, Kelvin, you have that one. 
and Victor. You have that one. Those are my two main shooters on the center. So if we get damaged, or we get damaged, we get raided, they can come to their doors and shoot outwards. That makes sense. And then, was it Soto who has the gun? Yep. So you can have that bed. And then we'll have red and cat on the end there. And we can turn that off. Awesome. Who's in a terrible mood? Oh, okay. Um, we don't currently have anything for them to do as far as Joy's concerned. Let's make something for them to do. Let's make Joy. That's what I meant to click. A horseshoe pin. Everyone loves a horseshoe pin. Well, when there's little else to do, everyone will love a horseshoe pin. That'll be priority. Soto's working on the research. Awesome. Well, I think we recovered pretty well. Could have been a lot worse. That's for sure. We do need Kelvin to start butchering these animals, though. So they've got their joy. Did I work out... Oh, right. I'm leaving them to do what they want to do. That's probably where I'm going wrong. Uh, well, before we do that, I just need to check over our characters. So, Brawler Teetotaler. Fine. Heat liver pessimist too smart, no problems. Green thumb slowpoke prostophile, okie dokie. Optimist green thumb teetotaler, masochist careful shooter, slowpoke. So we don't have anyone who doesn't like working in the daytime, so we might as well just put them all on the same. So we'll give them two hours of joy before and after they wake up, and the rest, I'm afraid, you're going to be working like dogs. And if we specify four hours of joy day, maybe that'll give them a bit of time to actually chill out. Specifically chill out. Might be worth deconstructing these at some point. Granite. We've got plenty of granite around us. That is an enclosed room. Interesting. Something could be in there. Wow, that is, well, it would appear to be all steel. That is also very cool. How is our gravesite looking? Uh, we're doing okay. Victor's hard at work. Could do with somebody cleaning up. It's looking a bit grotty. So everyone's on... Well, red is set a little bit higher than everyone else. So let's move that up and get you cleaning red. And maybe we should be making some... Well, that's okay. We'll ignore that for a second. Dusters are pretty good, I believe. Cowboy hats. So we have. Let's make five cowboy hats. That will keep the heat off the head. Yes. Ooh. Do I care what it's made of? Not really. As long as they keep it local. Uh, but we're going to have to set someone to do that. Who's my best tailor? Victor's good. Victor's probably the best, although he doesn't have a passion for it. The other people do have passions. Who I don't mind putting on to later. Uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we just we need practicality. So let's put that up to two. Oh, we've got stone cutters up as well now. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, do we want anything else research for the time being? We could probably do with having our guns shoot a little bit quicker. I think that would be best. I'm not worried about the smelting. Hydroponics will be good later on. Cremation, also good. No, let's do gun to it. That's, a, that's a, the most essential, I feel. So, we can make a stone cutter's bench now. I want to do it down here, next to all this. It can be outside. I can't see there being an issue with being outside. Chickens join! A group of chickens, abandoned or lost, have wandered into the area. They seem accustomed to human contact and are joining the colony. 
Wow. Wow, that's a load of chickens. Well, I guess that's uh, good as good as place as any to uh, end the episode. We now have a whole chicken farm, perspectively. One, two, three, four, five, six roosters, four hens. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so we're gonna have to set up some sort of boundary for them. Maybe put them on the sand or behind here somewhere. Yes, yes. I should look into that next time. So thanks for watching, guys. As you can see, this is going a lot better than the first time. I'm not going to keep harking on about that, but it's true. We're doing well. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Wait.